Welcome back to the video guys. Today it is time to work on my S14 drift car. We have a really good install for today. We are installing Z32 brakes. Now these aren't just remanufactured from O'Reilly's. These are brand new from Part Shop Max, made in like Taiwan. Painted in this fancy gold color that they uh, that they offer. Definitely a really good upgrade for any 240 is the Z32 brake calipers. I do currently have a set of Z32s, however, they're really, really old. Uh, I painted them white, but they're so old, one of them was leaking, so I just got new ones for the front and rear. Uh, dual caliper on the back and one big one in the front so let's get started man oh man do these look so cool they are really shiny the camera really doesn't do them justice so we have the big boy fronts and set of rears instead of handbrake for the rears so we are running a dual caliper setup on uh, on this s14 and to give you an idea what the old ones look like here are the old ones oh those look disgusting well like i was saying one of them was leaking so but this is kind of a peace of mind they're brand new these things are actually back ordered for like three months i ordered these such a long time ago they're finally in it's time to throw them on i already got the front wheel off i had the old one already off so i'm gonna go ahead and bolt it up i do have some bolts for it so i'm just gonna go ahead and bolt up the front and then this is my brake line i'm running see if i can kind of adapt that into it and see how she looks That looks sick. Man, I really like how these turned out. Super easy to install. Um, if you're doing this on your stock car, obviously wheel off, unbolt the two back, disconnect your one brake line from the back of the caliper, take off the old one, throw the fresh one on. Make sure the bleed valve at the top. I made that mistake once. I was like, why aren't these brakes bleeding? Realized the, uh, the bleed screw was at the bottom. So done with this one side, I'm gonna work on this other side as well. And then we can move on to the back. Just wrapped up the fronts over here. This one went on very easily as well. Um, I forgot to mention, if you are doing a Z32 conversion to your 240, you will need to get a uh, five lug hub and then Z32 brake rotors as well. Um, you can get the rotors, eBay and Juku. The hubs are on Njuku is where I got mine. They're kind of pricey for what they are, but you can run the nice big boy Z32 brakes as well. So it's a nice little setup. Definitely a good upgrade for your 240. I really like it. Especially being a drift car that's gonna have such high horsepower, definitely a must. Fronts are done, let's move the back. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. If you're watching this in July, I'm sorry. I uh, will fix it. Alright, I just finished putting all the brakes on the S14. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on my new wheels. I say new wheels. They're my white wheels that I run on my 370Z. They're actually intended for this car. Ended up running them on my 370. And since that car is actually gonna get sold here soon, I'm gonna go out and get those out and plop them on. But these guys are looking really good. Um, the backs, I'm only have the uh, the foot brake calipers on right now. I'm waiting on the handbrakes. I do need to get a little bit more hardware. That, I, that way I can mount the handbrake. And then I still need to run the lines for the handbrake and actually mount the handbrake. So we're just running with the foot ones right now. We're gonna throw the white wheels on it just to kind of make it look better because these, th these 350 wheels on the back and those little chrome boys on the front really aren't cutting it. And that way I can actually list these for sale and get them out of here. All 
you, so all four wheels are on and this car is looking a lot better than before. Um, I did have to adjust some of the bolts on the back as far as I'd add another washer to it for, um, for the rears because it was actually poking through and hitting the rotor. But they're all good. They all spin freely now, which is ideal. And in the back, um, I'm going to have to cut the fender anyway for my uh, over fenders that I have. So I'm going to do a nice little one of these at some point. So this is going to kind of give you an idea of what the car will look like. Um, when it's done it's not going to be white i am going to paint this car so stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and lower it down see how this looks this might just stuff it into the fender yeah i probably will that is what you call it <laughs> well i'm excited to try these out someday however it's not gonna be anytime soon still got a lot of work to do on the car but definitely a step in the right direction that is gonna wrap up this episode of the s14 build make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up helps a lot more people find the videos let me know what you think down in the comments below as well thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys in the next one.